Hi, one of the things I know about salespeople and uh, home decor suppliers in general is that we're not patient. We want sales, we want results, and we want them to happen very, very fast. So what are some of the biggest things that I hear from people about the e-commerce business? This is Josh Roberts. I'm with RSG Sales and we are 100% focused on the e-commerce sales channel and our expertise is managing key e-commerce retailers like Wayfair, Overstock, Home Depot um, and we also help train uh, people how to manage these accounts as well. So back to the point, uh, my, my e-commerce sales are soft. I'm not sure what's going on. It doesn't work. These are all kinds of things that I hear. One of the things I'd really like to clarify with, with e-commerce is that I, I call it an endurance test, especially if you're just getting started. The first six months are really, really important and at times can be frustrating because it can take six to 12 weeks from the time you start onboarding with, say, Wayfair or Home Depot it could be much longer before your products actually go live and start generating sales. Then you couple that with the fact that once your products do go live, um, they're at the bottom of the search pages because these products don't have history. So there's a lot of tactics that you need to do to boost those in the rankings. And like with Wayfair's algorithm, they do give you a nudge. Uh, they move you up halfway through uh, to account for the fact that your new products do not have uh, any history. So again, it, it really takes time uh, to build the business. I mean, it takes, you know, you're going to start seeing sales within a week, within a month and they'll slowly start to build. And the more history you get, the more reviews that you get, that's when you really start to see robust growth. But, but again, it do, does take time. So let's say after six months, um, you're still not seeing the type of, re of results that you thought you would have that would be commensurate with other uh, like competitors, like items um, on like sales channel. So some of the things that you can look at if, if the results aren't there is number one, are you in stock? Are you in stock on your best sellers? So the, qu the quickest way to end the business is obviously to be out of stock. And if you're out of stock for 90 days or more, then unfortunately what happens is, is you're going to lose sales history on that item. So whatever you worked hard to get that product propelled uh, within the search pages can quickly be wiped out within 90 days. Um, number two is the copy good. Is it clear? Are there key SEO search terms within that copy? Uh, number three would be having multiple images. So in this day and age, um, used to be a nice silhouette shot is all it takes. Now um, you need a silhouette shot. You need a close-up. You need alternate angles. Uh, lifestyle imagery has a 15 to 20% increase in conversion rate. So these are all the factors uh, that really play into having a successful, robust business. So the other, the other uh, point I wanted to make that too and, and really – understanding your e-commerce business and where it's going is that so if, if you're executing on all cylinders and you're still not seeing the type of growth one of the primary reasons could be is price um, and you're not priced competitively so that if you're and again it's an apples to apples comparison um, if you're similar uh, across the board to all of the uh, all of the, the best sellers in a given category and you're priced higher then that's an uphill battle um, so that's something um, that would need to be addressed with new products or with your existing offering if you expect to see the the kind of results that you like to see so again just circling back it's, it's an endurance test you have to commit to the process just like with any other sales channel that you would go into you have to research you have to do your homework you have to be well prepared and do all the right things to be successful um, there's not any magic bullets to it it's really all about the core fundamentals having great photography great copy products that are priced properly, and of course, in stock. So I'm a big believer in blocking and tackling. Do the basics, do the basics uh, exceptionally well. And again, if the product's competitively priced and you're hitting on all the key things it takes to be successful in the sales channel, you will have success, but it is a test of endurance. So thank you very much. Um, would love to talk with you uh, about your business in more detail. Would encourage you to visit uh, our website uh, to set up a call. Uh, www.rsgsales.com. Thank you so much.